giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, welcome to, to the fun. fun. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Battle Cry 20 live auction draft. So we have six fantastic uh, live teams that are joining us, and the live teams are going to be uh, drafting as we move forward here. They're each going to get 200 bucks. you'll see down on the screen. And uh, they're going to actually be setting the prices for you, so then you actually can go and select your own set of teams for Battle Cry as well. So uh, we'll introduce the teams in just a second, but real quick to give a quick explanation of what's going on here and how we're going about it. Uh, we've done a couple of these uh, in the previous year. Uh, I want to give a big shout-out to Haley, by the way, for uh, uh, reaching back out and getting this going. So thanks a lot, Haley, for that. Uh, with that said, we're going to uh, uh, auction off one at a time. These teams that are uh, at Battle Cry uh, will be using a modified rule set that we'll be posting a little bit later, but pretty much the better a team does, the more points you're going to get for things. Uh, each team gets $200. The teams will be selected at random. Uh, none of our participants know which teams are going to be selected in order, so there'll be some interesting strategies in play uh, as they can serve their $200 as it goes through. And uh, with only six t as well, prices might be a little bit different with so many teams, and you're allowed they have an unlimited amount of teams so our uh, participating teams here will have to determine uh, when they form their um, quote-unquote alliance for things how they want to go about that let's run down the line uh, just have our captains introduce themselves starting out with uh, PNW over enthusiasts and Luke what team are you on okay uh, and then we have the lunch company Hi, I'm Haley. I'm the captain of CL Safe. All right, and then, uh, man, uh, I hope I get these right. The Kidlets. Yeah, so Kidlets over here. It's me and uh, Dar just uh, hanging out, being Kidlets. We're going to be uh, bet $200 on the first team and then call it. That's, the that's a bold strategy, and it gets you in and out right away, Tegan. I like it. So. I got stuff to do, man. I got <laughs> I got to get, get doing things. Uh, and then we have the Quran Fan Club. Yeah, so I'm Ryan, uh, and KFC is just uh, me, uh, Eric, and Ankit. All right, fantastic. Sorry about the music. We adjusted that, by the way. Uh, we have a uh, well-known outsider region. Hello, I'm Jack. Uh, I'm with Kat and Connor. Uh, I kind of can't be here, though. Uh, so, yeah. Cool story. And rounding it out, uh, the Tennis Court Gang. Yeah, I'm Karan, and my partners are Ishan and the Tarva. I'm so confused on who's on what team now based on that. But All right, good luck to all teams as we go through. We're going to hop right into this right away, and if you're in chat, play along with us. Let us know what prices you'd set, and if you feel that our uh, our uh, players here have bid either too much or too little, feel free to... Uh, critique them the best you can uh what's going to happen is we're going to start a bid timer uh, and then uh there will be a 10 second timer and then a countdown 10 second uh for bids anytime that uh somebody overbids then it will reset the 10 seconds our first team up on the docket is going to be team number 1100 1100 that is the t-hawks uh, who I'm not familiar with, but apparently I'm not familiar with a lot of teams from up in that area. Uh, so the T-Hawks here uh, coming in uh, from the New England district, and we're going to go ahead and just start that bidding right away, and we'll see what they go for. Uh, T-Hawks 24-24-0 uh, in uh, district play this year. All right, so our bidding starts right away, and already up to $5 with the Quran Fan Club. $10 already. Apparently, people know who the T-Hawks are because it's already up to $13. 17 and 18. Keeps going up and up. Uh, this team here uh, played at the NE uh, uh, District Central Mass. Was that a uh, mistake? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> well, we've already started. That's fine. We'll cancel that auction. Uh, all right. We'll start over once again. Well, it actually starts back up from 19, so that works out well. All right. That works even better. Yeah, I'll bid with what actually. With a 20 well, that's if somebody doesn't outbid you right away. That's fair. <laughs> uh, I think you were supposed to bid already. What happened? There we go. All right, we're good. See, I t now, Haley, didn't I tell you mistakes are, and things are going to happen right away? Okay, fair, Tyler. You did say that. I would say more fair, Haley, is that you have taken the T-Hawks for $21. One-tenth 
already of all your money is gone. So T Hawks going to the lunch company. And our next team up for bid is going to be, we need to confirm that, is going to be team number 5813 Morpheus from Concord, New Hampshire. And you also see the teams will start to get populating below uh, where um, all of our uh, other teams are playing. Teams and teams is a little confusing. I need to call them something else. Uh, but 5813 Morpheus, there we go. Uh, what happens if a team gets no bids? I, I don't know. Then somebody bid a damn dollar. All right, bidding opens. Uh, Morpheus here uh, played played in the week zero. Apparently, that shows up on TBA. Uh, but twenty two twenty five and one in official play this year, playing at the uh, Southeast Mass uh, District where they were district event finalists. And bidding is ended, going to the uh, Quran Fan Club for sixteen dollars. And this will be a little bit different than other drafts because we do have a lot, a lot of teams. So we're just going to kind of keep on moving here. Uh, next one is going to be team number 2877, the Liger Bots. We'll start that bidding right away. And after a few teams, we'll do a little bit of a pulse check here to see where everybody's at. So Liger Bots starting out. <laughs> this team actually has a pitcher on TBA. So, you know, that's a promising start uh, for them. Uh, but 1923 and 0 played at the uh, Southeast Mass event where they eliminated in the semifinals and the Central Mass event. Oh, Southeast and Central. That's right, because there's two of them. Uh, limited the quarters. Uh, district Championship did not play in the playoffs. $19 to the lunch company. Haley going for her second team, but gets outbid back and forth. Where's Citrus? Eh. Well, you, you can join and bid for them if you like. Definitely worth $50, huh? Can I take the cheesy poofs, please? Yes. <coughs> All right, and bidding comes to a close. Lunch company Haley getting her second team for $24. So Haley, $155 left for the lunch company, $184 left for the Crown Fan Club. And we're going to keep moving on. Our next team is going to be team number... 40 41 team number 40 41 the iron tigers <laughs> coming out of maine participate in the southern new hampshire uh district event where they were semi-finalists pine tree quarter finalists and that the district championships did not play in the playoffs 15 dollars already an over enthused bid by the pnw team almost takes it but sniped out there by a well-known outsider region who outbids themselves several times. Questionable play there by well-known outsider region. $21 by over enthusiast. You guys bid yourselves up like that. Listen, Dave. Pro skills. Yeah, I remember doing that at both of our other events. Jack can't count. Oh, that's so sad. <clears throat> $22 for well-known outsider region. And comes to a close and sold. So well known outside of region takes their first team with team number 4041. Coming up with so I believe, Go ahead. I believe the real question is who is well known outside our region? Beats me. Is it forty forty one? Must be. So we're they are now. Yeah, I guess they're worth twenty two bucks, so Next team coming up on the docket is going to be a team in the right next to him, actually. 3719, the Stem Whalers. 16 19 0, an official play this year, played at Rhode Island District Event, where they were semi finalists. Hartford District Event, where they were semi finalists. Also played at the uh, uh, Connecticut, I almost said Kentucky, Connecticut State Robotics Championship, where they were semi finalists as well. So, you know, it might be good for semi finals, I hear at Battle Cry. $15, $16 to PNW. So a couple teams here just kind of hanging back, by the way. Kidlets and Tennis Court Game. I don't even know if they've had a bid yet. We bid on the Stem Whalers for $1. I'll have you know. Oh, you did? Okay, I didn't catch that. We're big vendors. And Tennis Court Gang did bid 7 as well. <clears throat> So biding their time there as they sell, well-known outside of the region, taking the Stem Whalers, another team now known outside of the region for $21. 
We'll take a break at 10, by the way, as we go through. Bud, coming on to our number six rank team, 71-27. 71-27 is a second-year team. That is Long Metal coming out of Long Metal, Massachusetts. 20-21-1 in official play this year. And bidding starts in two seconds. Tennis court gang, $5 immediately going up to 8 with PW over Enthusiast. By the way, chat, let me know how the music is in the background, if it's too loud or anything. $12 for PW. <clears throat> Lunch company, is that a mistake? I'm guessing I'll yes, delete yes, that. Yes. All right. <laughs> Uh, fifteen dollars in for the lunch company. <laughs> Sixteen for P and W. Oh, the music must be too quiet then. So I turned it down a lot because somebody said it's too loud. I can just sing if you need me. I mean, you're I'm welcome to do so. Entire time. You're welcome to oh, do so. Oh, they can do karaoke. Except uh, it's gonna be acapella, and nobody asked for it. Say again. Oh, can you give me some acapella? We'll do some Twitch sings later on. Uh, by the way, sold to PNW Over Enthusiast uh, there for sixteen dollars. Uh, next team up high in the numbers is uh, one of our two rookie teams attending the event. And that is team number seventy four oh seven, the Wired Boars out of Connecticut. Twenty three twenty one and one it might be our first team in a while that's had a uh, over five hundred record in official play. Excuse me. And then again, six dollars, ten dollars for Kieran. So I had somebody named Kieran that was a, uh, a student of mine. So I keep seeing, thinking Kieran over and over. Uh, well known outside our region for seventeen dollars, eighteen, nineteen. Seventy four oh seven is pretty solid. Says uh, BMR uh, twelve fifty seven. They did play the New England District Championship. Didn't make in the playoffs. Up to twenty six dollars. <clears throat> um, also quarterfinalists at the uh, Kentucky Connecticut State Championship $27 for TLC I'm not picking any scrubs and sold no not quite PNW over enthusiast decides to wait to the last second two seconds one and ends up taking it for $28 so right now PNW has our, our two high end teams in regards to high number of teams all right, Luke, I see you. If they have a high number, it means they're a better team. Right? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Next team coming up, uh, uh, old team. I remember, man, I remember playing with these guys when I was in high school, so you know they're agent. Team number 157, the Aztecs. Played with them my senior year of championships. Uh, out of uh, Marlboro, Massachusetts, just like the cigarette. I think it's spelled a little bit different. Uh, 11, 18, and 0 this year in official play. Played at the North Shore North Shore District event where they were quarterfinalists. Uh, Central Mass event where they were quarterfinalists as well. And that's it for this year. $9 for uh, Tennis Court Gang. Looking to pick up their first team. Karan takes it with $9. Team number nine coming up on the docket. Another oldie but a goodie. Team number 190. Is it Gumpy or Gumpy? I should know this. I thought it was Gumpy. Gumpy, yeah. Should know this. Because they're the team that back in 2004 had like that really sweet video like hurtling over another robot, right? Pretty sure that was them. Everybody's like, who's even born then? All right, uh, 190 coming up onto the docket. Ring tie in a few events, they say. Yeah, 45 27 0. Not bad for a record uh, this year in official play. Semi finalists in their first event. It's a Portsmouth event. And then at Rhode Island, quarter finalist district. Uh, I'm sorry, the Central Mass event. Semi finalists. This guy's played in four districts. I suppose because they, they did not play at the uh, championship. $42 now. Wow. 43 Teams are going to spend a quarter of their budget. And then Darwin did not play in the playoffs. Two seconds. <clears throat> and well-known outside our region takes their third team for $43 and has 114 left. 
All right, our last team before we take a, just a quick pulse check to see where everybody is is thirty four sixty seven. Wyndham wind up time for some money, people. Let's see what it's going to be. Thirty four sixty seven coming up on the docket. Uh, blue banner this year was from a chairman's award twenty eight twenty nine and O. Oh. So the record doesn't show the best, but definitely a pretty well known team overall. So let's see what they go for. Uh, played at the Granite State event where they were quarter finalists, Pine Tree event, semi finalists, uh, New England District Championship, semis, and then Carson did not make the elimination tournament. $27. Up to $29. <laughs> Good defensive bot. They tipped 133 over, though. Yeah. TLC betting 33. And takes it for $33. So that's our 10 teams there. We'll just do a quick uh, pulse check here and any reactions from our teams as we go through. PNW Ober Enthusiasts has $156 left with Long Meadow, 7127 and 7407 Wired Boars. Luke, how are you feeling so far on your picks? Uh, feeling all right. The two teams seem pretty solid for what I got them for. 20 isn't too much to spend in this, I don't feel. So feeling Feeling good. Uh, TLC uh, has uh, Team 1100, the T-Hawks, 2877, the Liger Bots, and 3467, Wyndham wind up with $122 left. All right, uh, Kid Litz, uh, no, nothing left. Just saving your money, huh? I Take love you. our teams. We're doing great. Doing doing awesome. We are thriving over here. <laughs> so wait, Tegan, does that mean you're just going to put in $1 when Shaker comes up? Yeah. Honestly, though, you guys are—you are doing—you guys are doing some spicy uh, spending, and I am all for it. Please keep doing exactly what you're taking. Just for you, we'll keep doing our spicy spending. Excellent. Go for it. Thrive. Uh, Quran Fan Club uh, has picked up one team so far: fifty-eight thirteen Morpheus, with one hundred eighty-four dollars left. Yeah, KFC is uh, happy with our pick. So we're doing good. It's finger licking good. And joining them then, well known outsider region has three teams with them 190, 37, 19, and 40, 41 with $114 left. I have no idea what I'm doing. We can tell. Jack is <laughs> trying. That's all that matters. It's okay. It's okay. Very nice. Uh, and then uh, Tennis Court Gang uh, with $191 left has team number 157, the Aztecs. Yeah, yeah, we're feeling pretty good. I mean, we have a lot of time, and we have a lot of money left. So. You got both of those. All right, we're going to keep on moving here. Um, uh, by the way, I think uh, Connor asked what happens if a team gets no bids again. Um, if you didn't hear us before, Connor, uh, the uh, I don't think that will happen. So <laughs> well, unless everybody runs out of money, and then I guess nobody gets it. So. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll just do an average price or something. Um, usually the, the last few teams, it tends to be way overinflated because – that is way too much of money is spent. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.